All right, welcome to the 2021 Outrigger Big West Men's Volleyball Championship, sponsored by the Hawaiian Islands. We have the winning team, Long Beach State, number three seed here in the press conference. The Beach, three set win, 25-22, 25-19, and 25-21. Beach advanced to the semifinals, will face number two seed, UC Santa Barbara tomorrow. We have head coach, of Long Beach State, Alan Knipe, along with outside hitter Spencer Olivier. Uh, Coach, why don't you start with an opening statement and we'll open it up to questions from the media. Yeah, um, first of all, it's a, it's a great win for us. We're, you know, we're excited to get the win and be able to move on. And um, Irvine, man, they, they did a great job uh, in the match and they've, they had a great weekend last weekend here. They're, you know, uh, getting better and better like all the teams are at this point with this short season. So uh, huge credit to Dave and what he does and his team. Um, I thought the difference of the match really came down to our ability to receive serve as well as we did and be able to run an offense. Aiden did a great job. We uh, hit for a real high number. And that, uh, that, that came from, you know, Mason and, and Spencer and, and Ethan's passing and Clark and a four man. So, um, you know, other than that, Thought it was a really good match as far as for us as scrapping for points, side outs. It wasn't always first ball. We killed the ball and um, we had to work hard for it. We had to block for some. We had to transition for some points. And whenever you're doing those things, it's a it's a really good validation of how hard your guys are playing and how invested they are in the match. I'm proud of our guys on that. And then we uh, now we get to go get something to eat, watch a little video, and flip our mindset because uh, we play a, a completely different style of volleyball team with Santa Barbara and. Uh, incredibly well coached and they'll be ready to go and we'll we'll be ready to go also it should be a good match we're looking forward to it all right we'll open it up from to questions from the media that could be for either coach knife or the student athlete uh, spencer if you can raise use the hand raise function on zoom to signal that you want a to ask a question and i will call on you we'll wait a couple of seconds here We'll go first to Mike Portabascio. So, sorry, guys, having a hard time figuring out how to do the hand raising emoji. Um, <laughs> uh, Alan, how much of a difference does it make to have, uh, you know, the starting setter back on the the court? You know, how, how much more dynamic does that uh, open things up offensively for you guys to, uh, to to have him back out? And what kind of, uh, you know, discomfort or or whatever is he playing through at this moment? Well, the long answer to that, or the short answer, I should say, to that is it's always great to have your setter back. And I, and I don't want to talk too much about that in the sense of it, it, it takes away from what Ryan was able to do for us. And uh, I, I have so much respect for anyone who can set in this game, never mind a guy who's been an outside hitter his whole life, comes in and set against some of the best teams in the country and kept us in the hunt. Um, and uh, we, we came over here with the mentality that they're both going to probably play. So it, don't, don't be surprised if they don't both play. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's a comfort level when you've done something a lot longer than four weeks of setting that with your offense and we're passing well, we can do a few more things and the, maybe the connections are a little um, more uh, comfortable and, and predictable. But uh, yeah, I think with the, more than just Aiden coming back, Simon, uh, Tori being healthy and our team, you know, knock on wood here, we're, we're getting healthier as this thing goes on and um, having a full roster able to go helps us a lot. So yeah, we're, we're excited to have him back, but I'm more excited to have everybody ready to go. All right, let's go next to Dave Reardon. Aloha, congratulations. Uh, so for either or both of you, um, you know, they were like gum on your shoe for the first uh, part of the first set. Um, was there something that changed that specifically, or did you just need to get loose, or what, yeah. what happened there? Yeah, I think that both teams, you know, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a really unique environment. I'm not going to make excuses, but, I mean, it's a really unique environment. We're playing in, a, in, a, in, a, in an arena that usually we're here, and it's, it's rocking, and um, we're playing a neutral game, and I think it's a first round of the playoffs, and I think both teams are trying to get comfortable with serving, get comfortable with a lot of parts of the game. And I think that, uh, I don't think we, I don't think it was, a, it was right out of the gates we're able to get going, but uh, it, it certainly didn't take as long. But once we figured out it's, uh, we're in a battle, we're in a match and, 
It's, uh, we, don't, we don't need the external um, crowd or we don't need all the energy from the building because we'll just, let's just make plays and create it ourselves. And I think once the guys started carrying their energy and being fired up, and uh, it felt a lot more like a normal match as it went on. Uh, same for Spencer. Uh, uh, from your perspective on the court, you made a, you had a couple of kills in that uh, five-point surge. Could you talk about, was there anything technical going on there, or was this getting pumped up like Coach said? Well, Aiden just did a great job at setting me up. He definitely established the middle in the beginning, so that really freed me up to just swing away. So, yeah, credit goes to set Aiden. Thank you. Waiting for more questions. Let's go back to Mike Bordabasio. Hey, Spencer, um, Alan mentioned, you know, when the season was starting that it's obviously a weird year and that the goal was basically just to be playing your best volleyball now um, and that everything was just kind of preseason for, for this tournament to an extent. Um, how good do you think you guys are playing now? How, how much do you think you were able to use that last, you know, five or six weeks or whatever to, to get ready for potentially three matches in three days to decide what happens? I mean, we prep for the next game as against anyone the best we can so we're just focused on the next game we don't really look forward to the playoffs we look forward to the next game so it's fun. yeah let's go next to rob asparo uh this question is for spencer great match tonight uh, but i had a, a question in regards to um the way you've been playing in the last three or four matches i feel like you've really gotten momentum about three or four matches and you're really beginning to come into it at the right time do you feel the same way as you are uh, out there performing on the court? Yeah, I feel I feel great. You know, the sets are great. Um, middles are running running it, so they're really getting me one-on-one -on -one in a lot of situations. Uh, passing's been great with Mason and Ethan, so that really helps also, again, to free me up on the left side. So yeah, it's been, it's been good. We have any other questions for Coach or Spencer? All good? Okay. Thank you, Long Beach State. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow.